Hundreds of thousands of Arizonans will soon see their medical debt erased thanks to a new partnership outlined by Governor Hobbs today. Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team breaks down who is eligible and how this all works. When everyone tells me you're so young, but they don't see that I go to the doctors about every other day. Trinidad Rivera, like many other Arizonans, have racked up medical debt. And I have about 14,500 the last time I checked, but I haven't checked in about a month because I've been so mentally distraught. She was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 22 and has overcome a swath of other medical challenges ever since. She's had to find creative ways to make ends meet. And a lot of the time I was blowing off my medical needs. So now I'm happy that I'm figuring out the differences of boundaries and telling people I can't do that. If you like me at 10, maybe we can find a way to meet in the middle. Maybe we can, you know, crowdfund for me a little bit of gas money. Um, or maybe we can find me a GoFundMe to get to your location. But it's been really nice to explain to people now my story. Governor Katie Hobbs announced a new partnership Monday that will use up to 30 million from expiring federal COVID relief dollars to eliminate medical debt something a handful of other states have also done. We are working with partners at RIP Medical Debt to buy back up to approximately $2 billion worth of medical debt held by Arizonans. Hobbs has the authority to choose how to allocate those relief funds. The nonprofit will use them to buy back medical debt at a reduced rate. To qualify, people have to be under 400% of the poverty level or have debt equal to or greater than 5% of their annual income. We send out a notice to everybody in that database that qualifies and meets those definition, and it just says, good news, your medical debt is gone. According to Governor Hobbs, the partnership will forgive the medical debt of up to one million Arizonans, which for Trinidad means regaining her independence. I could go back to get a doctorate again. I can live again. I um, could like be on track now with the care I have. The debt payouts will take place over the next two years, and people will be notified in the mail. For the ABC 15 political team, I'm Ben Brown.